Joshi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology and we are studying the subject organizational behavior from semester 4. Today we are going to talk about chapter number 2 which is individual behavior. Now in this chapter we are going to touch upon different factors which affect the individual behavior which are attitude, perception, personality and value, emotions, motivation, impression management, misbehavior and individual decision making. So all these things how does an individual show or act based on one's own personality type. So to start with today we are going to talk about now, first of all, let us understand what is an attitude. We can define attitude as a complex mental state involving beliefs, feelings and values and dispositions to act in a certain way. That means that an individual carries certain beliefs and values and at the same time, the individual has a free will to act upon those beliefs and values or maybe feelings. Secondly, attitude can also be defined as the readiness to respond to certain persons, objects or institutions in a consistent manner which has been learned and has become the typical part or the typical mode of response of an individual. So from these two definitions what we can understand is attitude is a kind of learning or a belief system which a person gathers from the past experiences. But how does an individual have such belief system or build such a belief system? Now this belief system or we can say even the perceptions come from various judgments that a person has. Judgments like something which is good or bad, favorable or unfavorable. So people evaluate and judge different persons, places, things, objects, situations in a different manner. Now again that also depends on one's cognition that is the past learning. Secondly because of this belief system Something which becomes a continuous part of one's nature or a repetitive mode of response that also we will have attitude. Now what has attitude to do with behavior? Now does the behavior completely depend on attitude? The answer is no. It doesn't depend completely on attitude. There are many other factors which will decide why a person will behave or act in a certain manner or why a person will take a certain decision. But yes, attitude is the most significant influence on the human behavior. For an example, if an employee is very happy with high salary, then that employee will have a very positive attitude towards work. And so the expected behavior is that the employee will never leave the job. But given a situation that the employee is offered an opportunity which is much better than the present opportunity, the employee might leave the organization. So behavior doesn't completely depend on attitude. Also, if there is an employee who keeps on complaining about too much workload and is not happy with the organization, is likely to leave the job. But because of the lack of opportunity, the person may not leave the job. So this proves that attitude makes a major part of the behavior but it is not the only influence on the behavior. So now let us see what are the characteristics of attitude. So first of all, attitudes can be either positive or negative. They can be in terms of likes, dislikes or favorite, unfavorite or a person can develop a judgment towards something which is good or bad and will likely to behave in a certain manner or will not behave in a certain manner. 
Secondly, attitude is a combination of personality, beliefs, values, perceptions and motivations. So any person's attitude actually shows all these things because the beliefs and the personality and the values all actually contribute to the attitude that is the approach of the individual towards any thing. Whether a person will positively do certain thing or not depends on the attitude. Attitudes can be on both the sides at the two, at the two most extremes that is very favorable or very unfavorable. Attitudes defines identity and guides the actions of a human being. So we identify a person through th that person's attitude only because that attitude makes that person a unique person. Also, all people without exception, they have attitude, they carry attitude because if there is a human being, the human being is bound to evaluate or bound to have a judgment towards certain thing. Though intangible, attitude can be measured with the results from one's behavior. We can see the visible results in the behavior of a person. And looking at the behavior of a person, one can understand what kind of attitude that person can have. So even though it is intangible, we can say that we can see attitude or we can measure attitudes can be implicit or explicit. That means that it can be uh, either unconscious, a person subconsciously or unconsciously does certain things or has certain attitude or it is explicit. That means a person is fully aware about the attitude or one's own behavior. Attitude is also a summary of all past learnings. Definitely because as we say that attitude consists of the personality, values, perceptions, motivations which is actually the result of the past learnings. Also, attitudes have direction, intensity, generality or specificity. Now what does this mean? When we say attitudes have direction, it means they can either be positive or negative. When we say that attitudes have intensity, that, that means that either it can be too high or too low, like very favorable or very unfavorable. When we say attitudes are general, that means we can generalize, we can we have a general attitude towards something and when we have specific, then the object is a specific towards which we have the attitude. For example, a strong dislike towards a person shows the intensity of attitude. And believing that all Indians are vegetarians shows the attitude which is generality. Next, attitudes are affected by age, position and education. If all these things are different, people will have a different attitude or a different approach. For example, people in their young age have a very positive attitude towards learning new things. While people in their old age may feel hesitation to learn new things. So this is how even the attitudes and approaches are different because of different age groups or education or maybe the position. Attitudes show the readiness to do work. So whether an employee will take up some work or do some work positively or not is dependent on the attitude or the approach of that employee. And lastly, very important point is that attitude remains consistent throughout. It, it, its nature is persistent unless anything is done to change it. That means that a person's attitude can be changed by changing the situation or certain things which are required. So these are the characteristics of attitude. Now let us see the different components of attitudes. Now the components of attitudes can be understood by ABC model. Now what is this ABC model? A stands for effect, B stands for behavior and C stands for cognition. Now the sequence of its occurrence is 
cognition is followed by effect and which results into the behavior. So first the cognition happens, then there is an effect and then there is a behavior. So let us understand them one by one. First of all, what is cognition? Cognition as we say is an act. It is a mental act of knowing a certain information. Now cognition results into beliefs and values and perceptions. So cognition is actually the learning part of a human being. Whatever a person learns or whatever information a person gets that makes the cognition. Now based on this cognition a person will have a certain feeling. For example, if an employee believes that flexible hours in his or her workplace makes it easier for him or her to balance the work and the life. If this is the belief then that is the cognition. Now knowing this cognition will make that person feel good about the organization which is the feeling part of the information which is the emotion part of the cognition and that is called effect. That is the effect part of the cognition. So from any information if we get a feeling then that is called the effect. It results into an effect. Now having a good feeling about the information will further make the person behave in a certain manner. That means that if the person feels very good about the job and is satisfied in the job, then the person is likely to be very involved in the job, very enthusiastic about the job and very positive in the workplace. So this is how the effect part will then be reflected in the behavior of the individual. So first there is a cognition. Cognition results into a feeling or an emotion which is called effect and this feeling or emotion further helps the person to act in a certain manner which is the result and that is the behavior of the person. So the ABC model says that the cognition happens first then there is an effect and effect will result into the behavior. However, like I said previously, it doesn't depend completely on the attitude. The behavior doesn't depend completely on the attitude. If a person gets very good job offer and the person is even ready to sacrifice the work-life balance, then even in this case, the person may leave the job so that the person can earn a high salary and have a great living standard. So then other factors are also very important. But yes, attitude is the most significant factor which influences the behavior of an individual. So to sum it up, today we started with second chapter that is the individual behavior where we talked about the first factor in which we defined attitude. We saw the link between attitude and behavior. We learned about the characteristics of attitude and the components of attitude. So I hope you have understood whatever has been taught in this lecture. Thank you.